Hey, this is High Chess here. Today I want to be talking a little bit about noise reduction. Uh, noise is the speckly stuff that you get in photos that uh, most people don't like. There are a couple of times where it's appropriate in low amounts. But the uh, noise is usually caused by low light, the light sensor on your camera, and sometimes heat. Typically, if you see uh, photos taken in the winter time, they will have less noise than photos taken in the summer. So I'm um, just this FYI. Uh, but within image editors, you can reduce that noise using uh, filters. Uh, so particularly GIMP's default one, it sucks. Oh, uh, I, I haven't tried to look that hard to find one. I found paint.net suitable, um, but it caused a lot of degradation in the image and uh, pretty much it made, makes things blur together a lot. So I found this really nifty uh, plugin for GIMP that sort of solves my problem. So today we're going to be t talking quickly about how to install a plugin and how to use it within GIMP. So uh, first, it's called an ISO noise remover. So I'm going to go to the web page real quick, then uh, we'll go from there. All right, so right now I'm on the GIMP plugin registry. This is where it has, this, if you want to find GIMP plugins, it's here. It's really hard to navigate. Because if we have to know what you're looking for, then find it on Google, then come to the Google Game Plugin Registry. Uh, in this current state, it's just not that usable. But uh, particularly why I chose this one, because it works right out of the box with GIMP 2.8, the latest version of GIMP. You don't have to do any ins installation or anything. It's just typically drag and drop your file. So you're going to go ahead and download that. Mm -hmm. Save this file. Actually, I'm just going to save it to my desktop for now. I'm going to save it to the desktop. Okay. All right, now we're on the desktop. Uh, let's just cut this. And now we need to get to uh, GIMP, GIMP's installation. This might be a different spot from where you, if you change the uh, installation uh, in your installation. But by default, is this going to be in program files? Excuse me. By default, it's going to be in uh, program files, not x86, just program files. GIMP. Two. It's GIMP 2.0. Then you want to find something that says, that says scripts. Uh, then you're just going to put it up there. I already have it installed. So there's no need for Okay, so if you already have GIMP open, you don't necessarily have to restart GIMP. You can. Or you can go up to here, filters. Then go down to the bottom and click refresh scripts. And do it anyway. Right, that, you're now reading the new script that you added. Now to use this new script, you're going to go over to this thing called EG, not exactly sure what that stands for. Uh, if I find out before I post this YouTube video, I will definitely put it in the description. And you want to go to this ISO noise reduction tool. So uh, with this, you have a uh, RGB channel blurring, which is faster, and uh, luminance channel blurring, which is slower. Uh, they typically try to achieve two different things and this plugin really isn't trying to reduce all the noise. I'm just going to go ahead and use luminance channel blurring. Typically I find the result better but there uh, in experimenting there are some cases where I prefer RGB channel blurring and GIMP Dispeckle tool. Stay away from it. Let's go. Uh, this process is going to take a while. I'll probably just cut it out and show you the final result. Alright so now we are back. And if you, uh, so this is at 66.7% right now. Let's see into 100. It's so gonna let me. And just these slip layer, you see that a bit of the quality is gone, which is gonna be with any noise reduction. But you get a cleaner image. And typically, I will never post any image that is. 3,264 pixels by 2,448 pixels. So um, you have some leeway to just roll it back and it looks fine now. A bit of the darker get darker, but typically you won't be able to see that much detail with it, uh, with it zoomed out 33%. So I hope you enjoy this quickie and thanks.